Hello YouTube! Welcome to Username Here Plays Through Mercenaries 2 World in Flames Episode 2. And if you study the background and everything, you will find out that I literally just went like recording off. Wait, like pause second, recording on. Yeah, because I wanted I wanted to split it. But don't worry, you know how I have the edit storms? It's not like you'll have to wait. <laughs> Uh, I can I can just uh, upload both at the same time. You won't have to wait or anything. So uh, this episode, in case you in case you missed it, there's an enemy with a mounted gun. I'm going to engage him. There we go. Oh nope, I got the driver. I'm also at 60 health because everything except regular infantry is overpowered in this game. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That's what I'm talking about about the aim, by the way. So uh, uh what was I saying? Yeah, let me melee him. All right. Everything in this game, I need, I need ammo. You, you don't just pick up ammo automatically. So, you don't just pick up ammo automatically. You have to press take ammo like that. So anyway, where's my bike? Where's my bike? What was it? Okay, so the thing about this game is that regular infantry are underpowered. Every conceivable other thing in this game is overpowered. It's kind of really balanced terribly. So, there are a lot of bullets around here. Let me let me go up here and attack these guys because I can. Okay. Yep, I missed. That guy, them, them. And there's some more enemies over there. Because this is useful because it has the RPG, which is really good. I'll take that. Oh, for frack's sake. Oh, also, another annoying thing about this game, there's no heat. You're just attacked on sight by every... I just kicked the gun off into space instead of meleeing him. Great. And there are more enemies over there. Enemies pretty much just go out of their way to assault you no matter what. And there's no heat in this game. You're just attacked on sight by the factions that don't like you. There's also a bunch of money here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna borrow it. Any cars? Any iguanas? Any iguanas? Nope. 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 We're clear. There's one up there. Yeah. I guess I can use that. So the reason I stopped is because the RPG. Even the up. Oh, hang on. Hang on. I'm out the gun. There we go. It's got like a 180 degree firing, firing circle, which is a little annoying. Just a tad. Did I? Did that explode? No, nope, well, this man over here. That's annoying. Health, grenades, stuff. Uh, I guess we're good. Ah, oh, that's more grenades. I'll take that. Even though the RPG is terrible against it. Wait, I need. I didn't get the ammo. For something. I need more rockets. I just have one rocket. Huh? How, how did that even? How did that even happen? Wait, can you hijack? Up, oh, frack. Can you? Okay, now that guy. Oop! That could have been really close. <laughs> Okay, okay, I gotta run over here. Kill him, there we go. And him. Okay, so. Is that car occupied? I don't believe so. Is there another car here? Yeah, they basically just go out of their way to attack you and be massive nuisances all the time. And it's annoying, because there's no, no heat in this game in the slightest. Oh, also, since the accuracy is so bad, you might as well just go full auto. There's no point. I see the car in the back. I'll see the mounted gun. Ah, caught that one. Caught that bullet. Hey, can I throw a grenade? Maybe there's no point. Oh, uh, actually, maybe there is a point to throw the grenade. There we go. Now, here, watch. This guy's good. Is that guy? Yeah, he's gonna turn around and he's going to attack me because they're massive jerks. Okay, good. Got a bit, little bull. Here. I'm aimed at his head. Do you see how many bull- oh, This game. This game. This game. A lot more enemies. You can hear him. Okay, so. Okay, so before I get pinned down, let's just uh, grab this stuff and leave. Because I think this stuff is good, right? What's in here? Some ammo, some grenades, some health. The rockets, which is annoying. Okay, I was hoping for a tank in there. At best, you'll get a miniature tank that fires like a little thing of plastic. A little thing of plastic shaped like a shell. I don't know. So, why am I running there? Remind me again why I'm running to the place? I really shouldn't be running to the place. Also, uh, those iguanas, they spawn freaking everywhere, and the mounted guns are really powerful. And, uh, basically... I'll stop complaining, I'll spare you the rant, I'll stop complaining, but this game is really bad. <laughs> this game is really bad. Gameplay-wise, this game is really bad. Also, look how easy it is to dodge, dodge bullets. That guy, was, that guy was about to throw a grenade, but if you shoot a guy who's in the grenade throwing animation, he'll stop the uh, animation. Okay, there we go, we got him. I'll grab some ammo. And this. Hey, was that a shotgun? That was a shotgun. Uh, no, nah, I won't take the shotgun. That sounds like a mounted gun on a car. Yep. Yep, we got it. I'm gonna borrow this car. I'm gonna hijack it. Oh, all right, neat. There we go. Is that guy alive? Yep. Let me go remove him. You've been removed. Okay, he's probably reload. Even though the ammo, even though the ammo count is based on magazines and not bullets. Okay, there we go. Let's move along. 
Okay, this is the iguana, by the way. It's the car that will. It's the car that hates you. <laughs> it's the car that will hate you from day one. Actually, except the uh, foreign invasions part, and you'll see that later. See that a while later. I don't know what that person was saying. And there's another car, but I'm just going to ignore it. They're gonna shoot me a little bit, but I'm just going to ignore it. I don't think they chase you. They just kind of spawn and uh, drain health. So. Okay, in case you missed the story part of this, we're basically going to go up to Solano's mansion, he's the antagonist, and we're going to borrow it. We're going to kill everyone there, we're going to borrow it. Screw you. Okay, now, let's use this, shall we? Shall we? Him, and up there, ah, the aim is really bad. The aim is really bad because it's like a console game. Is there a guy there? Yeah, it was. Okay, there, I guess I can shoot people through this gate. That seemed like a rocket launcher. Are you freaking kidding me through the gate? Okay. Did you hear that? Did you hear the anger right there? Did you hear it? There's the jerk. I need to go get a car because I know for a fact you can drive through that gate. So, uh, at least I got some fuel out of it, so that's good. Did you, uh, hear, did you hear the bit of anger that I got there? Did you hear that? Get used to it. It's going to happen a lot. <laughs> it's going to happen a lot throughout this game, but it won't be my fault. It will be the game's fault. It will be the game's fault. Okay. Normally RPGs are really, really terribly inaccurate at that range. But it, it went right at me, which is freaking infuriating. So, I'm going to grab this car, and then I'm going to bust through the gate, and then I'm going to absolutely, utterly destroy the guy who did that to me. Through the gate, that looks like the guy. Screw you. Come on. There we go. Take your ammo as well. Okay, what was that? I'm assuming it was another rocket launcher from somewhere. Yep. Oh, over there. Oh, there he is. There's the jerk. There's the actual jerk that did it. He has a pistol. He switched to a pistol. Okay. Anyone up here? Nope, there's not. Okay. So... I guess we're clear at this point. Hey, see that guy? Look! I'm gonna... Oh, one shot. Okay. I'm going to need to borrow your ammunition. Thank you very much. Okay. Something here... Oh, that's a health. Why is there floating health? Wait. I think this crate is supposed to be there, and that's why there was floating money. I see. Add that to the list of things that are wrong with this game. So, the story, we need to kill a bunch of people. And there's one guy over there. And there's a guy there. And there, I think he threw a grenade somewhere, maybe. Let me reload. Take some ammo. And that's a lot of money. I'll borrow that. Oh, there's the guy. I've removed him. <laughs> Let me grab this. And this is health. I guess I can use it. Not a full health. There's that guy. How did I not notice that guy? There we go. We got him. And that guy who threw a grenade. And this guy up here. Pretty much, it's in effect. It's inefficient. I get it works, but it's inefficient to shoot people at like a 10 meter, at like lo longer, larger than a 10 meter range. So I just close the distance, and it's annoying. <sighs> just taking a bit of a breath because I've been talking nonstop. I just realized. That's my ammo. My ammo's full. Okay, we have four more targets to go. Fun fact, a lot of people go around that way and around. I'm going the other way because screw rules. <laughs> I haven't seen a single guy go this way, so I'm doing it. Excuse me, Bush. Uh, someone's throwing a grenade. It was him. I removed him. That guy. Also, the aimbot kind of makes you get stuck on certain targets even after you've killed them. So that's also annoying. I know for a fact... Uh, I didn't get that ammo. I know for a fact there's going to be an RPG trooper up there, but there's really nothing I can do about it, but just run up to him so he can't shoot me. I can try. Oh, that's bad. I lost nearly 40 points of health there, and that RPG was quite far away from me. Another testament to how bad this game is. I know for a fact there he is. There he is. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get close enough to him so he switches the rock, or he'll just die. Switches to the pistol. There we go. Removed him. That seems bad. Okay. Okay, okay, being shot at from somewhere else. This game can get slightly hectic, just a little bit. There's that guy, and there's... There we go. Okay, there's another jerk over here, right? Let's use the shotgun because I can. There he is. I got him. <laughs> Basically, there's no difference between the assault rifle and the shotgun. And there's the jerk that we're supposed to kill. And there's another RPG trooper. Oh, wait, no, that, that guy's a light machine gun. Uh... Uh... Being shot at from there. I guess I'll just ignore him and, uh... I guess I'll just ignore him and dodge the bullets, like that. I'd love to take it, but, uh, I don't think... I don't think I'll be able to... 
I don't think I'll really be able to, come on, kick it, there you go. I don't think I'll really be able to, uh, get more ammo for it. I'm watching him so I can dodge the bullets. Um, there's someone over here somewhere. There he is. There he is. I got him. Uh, anyone up there? Hopefully not. We're covered anyway, so it doesn't matter. And now that we're away from that annoying point of the game, here we are over up to here. <laughs> he just left. He just left. Okay, there. Saw them. Okay. Take your ammo. You. 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 I tried to switch targets, but the aimbot was an issue. Is there anyone else? Anyone else? Grab your ammo. Get some money. That sounds like a guy. Yep, there he is. You want to shoot him? Thank you. I'll take. Actually, I don't need help. So I don't. I don't really know how the health regeneration works in this game because you regenerate health, but there have been times where I look down. It's like, it's like low. So I don't know if there's like a really long delay or something. I know for a fact there are enemies here besides the guy I'm supposed to kill, so that's why I'm work working on basically keeping clear. Hey look, he attacked me when I was way to go around and, and find me and attack me because the AI does that. Oh, also him. Screw you. And there's another guy. <laughs> I kicked him. Hold on. I'm basically under attack now by all the guys that are in this maze because, again, AIs are kind of a aggressive. That's the word that I really should be using. AIs can be aggressive in this game. So, clear. I don't know how I can see anyone with the camera spinning so fast. That guy had his back turned. That guy also had his back turned. And I got them both. I don't know, don't know how I can see anyone with my camera spinning this much. Anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? Didn't I clear that area? I thought I cleared that area. Oh well. Yeah, like see, health regenerates, but it's at 97 for some reason. I'm just gonna fall out of that and hope it kills them both. Which it did. Now I have five bullets left, and I'm going to have to reload before he dies. I have told you. I got him. Okay, that was a guy going prone. You can't go prone! Another, another random thing that's bad about this game, AIs can go prone. You can't. You just have crouch. Okay, welcome to Solano's house, and we're being shot at. <laughs> so, hang on, let me remove this guy, because this house is going to be ours. Story-wise, we're borrowing this house. I think I already said that. And him. And alright, we're clear. There's a big statue, but I can't screw Solano's face because it's not Solano. And I don't think there are any s statues in this game. So, we're told to go over there, and fun fact! You go over there, it blows up, and then there's a tank. Light tank. Mine! Okay, so this is a hijack. It's basically a quick time event where you have to translate the icons in your head before you can start mashing or pressing the button. So, that means space. And there we go, the tank's ours. My tank now. My tank now. Delicious tank. I like tanks. Okay, here we go. Now, I believe we're going to get attacked by a bunch of stuff, including that guy who might be a rocketeer. Might be. I don't think I got him. Up, I, up, no, he wasn't. Oh, it's bad. They missed, though. Okay, him. That guy who is a light machine gunner. That guy is probably going to get a hit. Or not. Or not. Him. I didn't get him. There we go. Those guys, and I think one of them's... Yep. Him. And that guy, don't you shoot that freaking rocket at me. And the guy on the right might be not be the light machine gunner. Alright, that's it. There we go. We got it. That was a bit, that was an intense few seconds because I didn't let a single rocket hit me. Well, I mean, one rocket technically hit me. Hey, screw that thing's f Oh. <laughs> I was going to shoot it. <coughs> Sorry, coughed. I was going to shoot it. It didn't work. And here's a cutscene. That's not, that's a bit of a con continuity error. I don't think the battle was that intense game. Universal Petroleum. Yeah, UP, they're jerks. <laughs> they run by a woman called Rubin. Yeah, Lorraine Rubin. How do you know? I know where Blanco is. Look at that. She deals with Blanco. And if we find Blanco, we find Solano. Alright, here we are in the game, and now that episode 2 is done, we basically borrowed his home, and now it beca we borrowed Solana's house. Sorry, we borrowed Solana's house, and now it's basically our safe house. So, now, one more thing I'd like to explain about this game. So, UP is up there, that's UP. Up here is the pirates, they're politically neutral, they just, they're criminals. The PLAV is around this area, and uh, over here, 
You can't see it, but that's all Chinese territory. They come in later, and that's the Allied base over there. So, where's info? Oh, yeah, here, factions. Oh, I, we don't have any. So, uh, this game's kind of like, it has a lot of factions, and I feel like I'm, I don't know why, but I'm really attract, I really like games, I'm really attracted to games where each faction has their own distinctive, uh, has their own distinctive color scheme on their vehicles, things like that. That's one of the reasons I love RTS games, and I love Just Cause. This game, like, perfectly caters to that, uh, perfectly caters to that trait, and, but the game is so bad, and it could have been so, it, it could have been so good, and it annoys me. Uh, uh, I really wish this game was better. Man, in fact, I should I should uh, create a video game company and then buy the rights to this game and remake the first and the second one. I don't know what the first one's like. I've never played it. It's not available on PC without an emulator. So, shut up, Fiona. Anyway, that's the end of the episode. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Goodbye, YouTube.